Hello everyone, it's Ashish from Ashir Creations and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. Well guys, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a coronavirus, you know, defeating photo manipulation in Photoshop. So guys, I really hope that uh, this coronavirus gets soon as much as, you know, possible. Get rid of the whole world is getting infected. But we're gonna just, you know, support each other and just, you know, be safe, right? So first of all, we'll edit this photo and uh, all you need to do is just capture this kind of photograph in your home, right? The very first thing you need to do is just wear the mask and just click the photo, right? Now we're gonna just edit this photograph. So first of all, all you're gonna do is let's just crop the photo with the help of crop tool. This you can just capture in your home also or in your room, right? And make sure that the light is facing towards your face. So you have to, you know, place the light in such a way. I have already captured this kind of photo. So the very first thing you need to do is select the crop the photo for your Instagram ratio, right? That is 8 is to 10. And now we're gonna just crop it and let's make it more bigger. I think this one, this much is looking kind of very cool. And just hit OK, right? Now we're gonna just duplicate this uh, background or the original layer. And all you're gonna do is let's just select the photo or the area up to like this and just you know press ctrl t from the keyboard and just stretch it and here we have increased the canvas size and here we're gonna do the same process over here just select this much area and press ctrl t and just stretch it so this one is looking kind of very amazing and natural let's do the same process over here let's select this area press ctrl t and just stretch it let's do something more over here <clears throat> now here guys the important thing is first of all let's again crop the image the next important thing is we're gonna just make darker portion on this portion uh, on this area on the right screen right so all you need to do is select the brush tool pick the black color over here and just give a one stroke of this color just like this way right now press ctrl t and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here just like this way because it should look like a very tint of the minor tint of this black effect right just like this way and we're gonna do the same process on the top portion so just press duplicate the image and press ctrl t and just you know flip it on a horizontal clockwise vertic uh, vertical and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here just like this way this will uh, make your photo to look more and more kind of moody dark effect and we're gonna just move, do the same thing on other side again just duplicate the image press ctrl D and just flip it again in a horizontal way and just place this somewhere over here now this one is looking kind of very cool and amazing guys so you have to make sure that you have to delete the unwanted you know blackness or the vignette effect from the area just like this guy and also from the face from all the layers now here we have almost created a perfect vignette effect right so the next thing we're gonna do is just go to the color adjustment layer select the color lookup and from here we're gonna select the muted blue preset right so so here is the muted blue preset so this has turned your photo into, into a kind of very muted bluish tone which we actually want right so let's again just make it more amazing with the help of preset so select the color lookup again and from here we're gonna select the cinematic 3.0 LUTs so you can see this has created more and more deep dark effect with cool cinematic color tone which is looking very very amazing guys so here we're gonna just move the or the change the color tone 
so let's just press hue and saturation create uh, adjust layer select the red tone and here we're gonna just make it to kind of yellowish tone on the skin let's just decrease some opacity uh, saturation now this one is looking more realistic so you can see the difference here's the before and here's the after now the next thing all we're gonna do is let's add the coronavirus png particles right so let's just select this just drag it and drop over here and we're gonna just place this particle over here And again let's just duplicate it and just press core ctrl j and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here just by decreasing the size of this and here we're gonna just make it to blur so go to the filter select the blur and select the gaussian blur and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here and here also we're gonna do the same process here we will just increase the size of this so that it may look like more realistic or we're gonna just place this somewhere over here and go to the filter select the gaussian blur again let's just do some more gaussian blur now this one is looking pretty perfect let's just place this somewhere over here now this one is really looking very very amazing guys let's again press the uh, press ctrl j from the keyboard and just duplicate it and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here again just uh, do the same process by press ctrl j and duplicate this and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here and we're gonna again do the same process press ctrl T and we're gonna just reduce the size of this and let's again do the same process press ctrl T increase the size and place this somewhere over here now this one is really looking very very amazing guys you can see the difference whole concept is looking very cinematic with kind of cool color effect now we're gonna add the you know smoke dust particles so let's just select this and just drag it and drop over here press ctrl t from the keyboard and just right click on it and flip it on a horizontal way. guys you can just download the LUTs or the color lookup file from the links in the description right I'll just put that on the description of Orlon directly from my website. Now you can see this is really looking pretty perfect. This all the particles are really looking very cinematic and exact on like you know the dust particles of this coronavirus. Now here we're gonna select the eraser tool and just remove the unwanted particles from the photo with the help of eraser just make sure to remove from the face especially right now here we're gonna just erase the bigger particles so let's just delete just like this here. also from here or here also let's just delete it from over this portion now this one is really looking pretty perfect so you can see the difference the particles has made your photo an amazing look and touch which is really uh, looking very pretty perfect I guess mm -hmm. 
so this is a perfect photo for your you know instagram if you want to create an amazing coronavirus photo manipulation theme photo then this is uh, would be this would be a pretty perfect i guess so just let's just make it a little bit of glowing effect to this you know particular uh, that uh, what do you say coronavirus press control u from the keyboard and just increase the saturation and just hit ok now here let's create new layer right click on it and create a clipping mask select the brush tool and from here we gonna just select this color and just paint it with this change the blending mode to soft light and you are done you can see this is really glowing this virus is looking kind of an amazing effect or you can also just make it screen but according to me you just keep it as a soft light or oh, let's just try it lighten no soft light or the pin light no no soft light would be pretty perfect and you can just decrease the fill and again let's just create new layer and let's make a little bit of glowing effect so let's just add a little bit of glowing effect and change the blending mode to screen and we're gonna place this below this uh, below this what do you say coronavirus layer and just reduce the fill press ctrl u from the keyboard and here we're gonna just increase the lightness reduce the saturation a little bit let's increase the whiteness or the fill now this one is looking kind of a perfect glowing effect right guys but according to me if you don't do that it would look more pretty much perfect i guess so just keep it as it is don't add this effect so now the final touch is to merge all the layers just right click on it and select merge layers and just crop the photo and finally here we have completed our process of editing and creating a perfect and a unique concept for coronavirus theme right so you can see the difference here is the before and here is after this one is really looking very perfect and a dope for guys this theme would be pretty perfect for your instagram so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button and if you still not subscribe to our channel then kindly do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashvillecreations.com from there you're gonna find new backgrounds camera preset lighter preset loves and many more cool stuff just like this for you guys for free and if you still not visited my second website to download the premium collection of preset just visit that is www.filterpreset.com so that you can just download all the premium collection of you know mobile lightroom dng camera preset lots and many more stuff also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just type ashfield creation so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome